Hey, game makers! Bored of Envy's default menu look? Want to use one of the same 10 menu plugins everyone else is going to use? If so, that's totally cool and I kind of want to do it too. But when it comes to game making, the limit is your imagination! Or your lack of understanding JavaScript. Anyway! Today, we'll be looking at the Alt Menu Screen 3 plugin, and how to use it to make our game's menu look totally way awesome. You'll want to make sure that you're using Alt Menu Screen 3 instead of 1 or 2, as 3 is the only one that allows you to use pictures, so make sure you turn that on. Under its parameters, you'll see a nice little list of the menu options. Once we have our graphics completed, we'll be writing down the names of our images here. But for now, just leave them blank. This plugin also allows you to use a separate character graphic for the menu's main screen with a note tag. So we'll be doing that first. Word of warning though, the size dimensions it gives you in the help file only completely apply if you're using the default resolution. If your game's planning on using a different screen resolution, make sure you have that set now before we begin. We have to make our graphics to fit the screen, otherwise things will get all distorted and evil. This plugin usually seems fine for using larger resolutions, but if you try to make your resolution any smaller than the default, things will get cut off and likely require manual fixing. Anyway, let's start by setting those main menu stand graphics. Just go to the actor page in the database. Under note, you'll want to type in stand underscore picture and the name of the character's graphic you'll be using. This will call the graphic from your projects folder slash image slash pictures. And this will only affect the main menu page. And the normal face graphic will be used everywhere else. I already have the ones we'll be using made up and set. Now, the easiest way to do this is start on a blank map with your characters transparent. Play the game and then open the menu. Normally, you'd see the map blurred as a background, behind the menu. But as we're on a blank map, it's just kind of black. We're going to take a screenshot of this menu page. Then let's head over to our image editing program of choice. Now, you could just paste the screenshot in a new file, but that will paste it to your monitor's resolution. In my case, 1920 by 1080. So we'll be creating a file with the dimensions that match our game's resolution itself. In this case, 1000 by 563. Let's paste our screenshot and resize it to fit our dimensions. There are a few different ways you can do this, but I'm just going to drag them to the right size because it's more convenient for this example. As a reminder, if you haven't yet saved your image as an editable file type, do it now! Next, there are a few things you could do here. Over here on the Layers tab, where it says Normal, you could change it to something like Screen or Overlay, which would effectively null out the black background. Alternatively, you can also just remove the black background with the Magic Eraser tool, which is what we're going to be doing. It doesn't need to be perfect, this is just here to give us an idea of where things are on the layout. Now we get to actually creating the menu graphic. You'll want the screenshot as an overlay above the menu you create. Do not try and make your menu graphic on the same layer as the screenshot, that would be bad. As for what to make your menu look like, it's completely up to you. Within the confines of this layout, that is. For this example, I'm kinda going for a sky theme, but you could do a specific style, maybe go for a retro look. Or even just throw an image into the background, it's really up to you. Just do whatever you think is awesome. When you're satisfied with the look, hide the original screenshot layer. Go to Save As and save it as a .png. We're just going to call this page Menu, and make sure it's saving into your Game Pictures folder. Now for our game, head back to Plugins, and Alt Menu Screen 3. In the plugin details beside BG Bitmap Menu, double click it and type in the name of your menu graphic, in our case, Menu. <laughs> now click all the OKs and let's test this out. As you can see, our mini graphic is nicely in the back. Our characters have their stand graphics showing and all is well. Now just item, skill, equip, status, options, save, and end game left to go! The same process applies to all of them. Just screen cap, resize, and create, hide the screenshot layer, and save as the page name. If you'd like to keep the same style for all of your graphics, I'd recommend setting each page's layers up in a folder on your editable file, then duplicating it so you can still use all the backgrounds from the previous page in the new one. We're going to speed up the rest of the creation process, but I will point out anything that's noteworthy. You'll notice on our equip page, our stats get quite cut off at the bottom. That's only because this game's resolution is set to a smaller height than the default. This means I'll likely have to go into some code and figure out how to modify it, or make my resolution... uh... taller? But for this example, we're not gonna worry too much about it. You can 
also add text if you say, wish to have the words name, class, and nickname on the top of the status screen. All right, with our menu graphics made, let's go back to our plugins list and add them to Alt Menu Screen 3. And now let's go check out our super cool, more or less okay menu. There you go, every page shows up and our menu is now full of clouds and sky for some reason. If you have any other MB tutorial requests, feel free to ask me in the comments. We'll also be playing game demos now, so if you'd like to see a game demo you've put your heart and soul into played on here, send me a YouTube message and we can talk. Till next time, later gamers!